Somebody's having a fit. Yep. He wants this. <laughs> Get it. Get it. My little short, little stubby little dog. He wants his bone and he wants to eat it. How are you guys doing? I did a video, but I did something wrong. So I have to do it again. Oh, man. And look what time it is. Look what time it is. <laughs> oh, well. We're going to do it again because I ended up messing up. So let's make sure this is in good vision here so you can see ugly Doria. And we are working on page 16, number 75 through 80. And the things we're working on is some of the same stuff you've done before, so it should be pretty easy. But before we do that, your next test is going to be number 74. So I want you to start practicing that one. So today I'll play it for you so you know how it's supposed to go. And then we'll work on the other stuff. So here's number 74. I'm going to play it without the metronome just to make sure you've got it. You've got that key of A flat. You just did number 67, the A flat scale for the test. And this is in relation to that scale. I want to make sure you understand that scale. So look at 74. And I'll play it for you. I've done this before, but I want to play it again so you hear it. So one, two, 74. Make sure you practice that and get it ready. You can go to your own speed, you can go slow, you can go fast. And for drummers, that is going to be, if I can find it, a good one for you. If it's too hard, take out the flams, but you have a lot of that same rhythm that I just played. So it shouldn't be too hard for you. And then when we go to number 75, 75 is easy. But one thing before we go into that, we want to talk about Rollentando. R-A-L-L, -L, which means gradually slower. And it's the same word as retardando or R-I-T. So whenever you see that in music, it means to slow it down at the end. And if you see at the very end of Simple Song, it also has a fermata. So I'm gonna play it without the metronome so we can do the slow down. So we're gonna play A first. Number one is look at your key signature. Some of you have one flat only. So you have E natural flutes, okay? E natural trombone, second position, bar um, baritone tuba, uh, you have E natural too. So make sure you're fingering the notes correctly. And on the clarinets and the trombone, and clarinets and trumpets and bass clarinet and tenor sax, you have an F sharp. And that's it. So when you play the Bs, it's the middle B, F sharp, then it's the top key, trumpets, the middle key, so watch your key signature. And then alto saxes, you have two sharps. F sharp, of course you know, and then C sharp, right? All right, so let's look at number 75. You look at your time signature, really important. And it says adagio, adagio is a slow tempo, all right? And it says piano, goes to a mezzo forte, which is gradually to a, for a louder sound. And then it has a decrescendo where it gets softer at the end. So see if you can play. A with me. If not, you can also play B. And then when I play B, you play A. So you can restart and stop this video if you want. So here's A. One, two, three. So if you got that, you can repeat, re rewind it again and, and have you play the B while I play the A. So now I'm going to play the B. So you can play the A while I play the B. Whatever you want to do. 
So here's B. Look at the first note. Make sure you're fingering it right. So some of you, it's A natural, B naturals, okay? So watch your notes. Here we go. One, two, three. Make sense? And then you can switch parts. So that one's slow. Line dance. Line dance on number 76 and 77 and 78 are all working on your technical facility. And they all have fairly decent paces on them. So again, always look at your time signature, your key signature, your speed, your articulations. Look at all that before you play. So now this one has some flats added to it. So now we have three flats for flute, trombone, baritone, tuba, and for the clarinets and the tenor sax and the trumpets, you'll look and you now have the B flat. Okay, so one flat, B flat, and then the saxes, you have nothing, I think. Yeah, nothing in your key, so watch your key. The other thing on this is it's in two, not four, because you have a two, four time signature. All right, so you got it? So here we go for number 76. Let's first of all, hi, you'll love me. We're going to clap it to make sure you understand what you're supposed to do. So we're going to put it at 72. So it's at a fairly good pace, but I think you can figure it out. So let's count it and clap it. One, two, ready, and go. One and two and one E and a two. One and two and one E and a two. One and two and one E and a two and one and two E and a one. One and two and one E and a two. One and two and one E and a two. One and two and one E and a two and one and two E and a one. So again, just make sure that you're getting that rhythm down in your mind and you can slow it down. You can go really slow like this. speed you want don't start it necessarily at the speed of an app right now so you can turn off the video practice a little bit and then be once you think you're ready at 72 play it with me so here is the speed of 72 oh shoot I messed up and so let's see if you can play that speed with me one and two and one e and a two so you ready transmit 76 watch the key one two and hopefully you were watching the Articulation, do you see all the staccatos I have on there? Let's try 90. One. Actually, 92. One, two, ready, go. some double tonguing on that one because it goes fast all right so let's now look at number 77 and this is basically a little pattern um, where it goes stepwise up a little bit and it goes back down but there's kind of a pattern and there's a rhythmic pattern going on too so let's see if you can figure this one out so I'm gonna bring it down to about a 66 and what I'm thinking of before I even play this, I'm thinking of eight notes. One, and two, and three. The down, up, down, up. I'm thinking that first before I get into it. So here we go, ready? So 77, clap it. One, two, 
Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one. Two e and a three. One and two and three and four and one. Two e and a three. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and four and one two three and four and one two e and a three. So it shouldn't be too hard for you. It's a pattern, it's a scale pattern. If you look at it, it goes up five notes, back down, goes up five, then it goes up a step, up five notes, back down. So there's a little pattern. Now hopefully you see that. So here's 77. One, two, Ready and go. shouldn't be too hard for you. It's basically the B-flat scale. I don't know if you notice that. That's all it basically is. Um, 78 is a fun one called the Galloway Piper um, and I think you'll really enjoy this one. Um, it's got two four times signature now so two beats per measure um, and it's got four flats for some of you or one flat and so make sure you're looking at that. So if I turn back to my little score of your parts. Clarinets, tenor sax, Bass clarinet all have one flat. And the saxes have nada, and we have one, two, three flats. Okay? And the rhythm is pretty easy again. It's just straight eighth notes and sixteenth notes. So if I clap it, I'm gonna put it to the speed of 66 again, because I'm gonna for a slow. And I'm thinking of eighth notes. One, and two, and one, and so you got eighth notes in your mind. One, two, clap. One and two and one and two e and a one and two and one and two e and a one and two and one and two one e and a two and a one and two make sense? So it's pretty pretty easy rhythm. Um, easy key signature. Watch the slurs. Keep your fingers low. So one thing to remind you of when you're playing fast, you have to keep your fingers low. And you want to make sure that you're holding your instrument correctly because that will really fix your finger facility. So fingers have to be low and you want to make sure that you're not raising your fingers high. You're holding your instrument out correctly so it's well balanced. So if I'm holding my flute, I can take my fingers away because it's well balanced. And you should have yours well balanced. So you ready? So here's that tempo of 66. One, two, Ready and go.
idea what I did the second, the third and the fourth time around? Any idea? Look at number 79. What I did with 78 was I did it twice as fast. I did it like a cut time. So I made my eighth notes, 16th notes, and my 16th notes, 32nd notes. So if you look at 79, it is cut time. And what cut time means is you play everything twice as fast. Now one way you can first learn it is actually by playing it really, my metronome going here, I can learn it by playing it first of all like quarter notes. So right now I have it at 80. Da, 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 da. And if I want to first of all learn how to get it to the cut time, I can put it times 80 times 2, put it up to 160. If I put it up to 160, then I can play it the way it's written. But it's going to be a fast. There's your chord notes. So if I, that was a 4-4 four, four, if I did that. Cut time, if that makes any sense. So what's 80 times 2? Well, 80 and 80 is 160. So here's where I can do chord notes. And I can practice like, like this first. One, two, three, go. One, two. time signature okay when I do cut time everything's twice as fast and what I can do is bring it down to 80 and I'm thinking now basically that's your half notes they get a beat now and these are your chord notes are eight notes one and two and and your 16 notes would be three second notes and your eight notes would be 16 notes so when I play this Manhattan Beach everything's played twice as fast so now half note gets a beat. So here we go. I'm gonna go one, two, one, you play it with me. One, two, one. twice as fast and this is a march and usually march is set at 120 and that is fast so now if I do 120 plus 120 it's 240 so if I put it at 240 I could play it where a chord note gets a beat or I do to 120 where a half note gets a beat and this is a march so it's usually energetic watch carefully your third note E natural for some of you F sharp C sharp so watch your key signature so here we go one Two, go. So that's a march. That's usually how fast it is played. Okay, last one. Number 80. Look at the rhythm. Oh, turn it on. Come on. Is my battery dead? I think my battery just died. Oh, there it goes. And so number 80 is, again, it says Allegretto, which is a little slower than an Allegro piece. So when I play this, I'm going to put the metronome to probably about 72. And we are thinking again of how fast we can do the 60 notes. So if 72 is too fast, you bring it down to like 60. Okay, and then gradually go faster. So let's try 60 and let's clap it first. One, two, four beats, go. One E and a, two E and a, three, four E and a, one and two and three and four and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one and two and three and four. One E and, two E and, three and four. One and two and three e and a four. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four. You'll see when I'm holding that quarter note, I'm thinking of how fast the sixty notes go before I get to them. So I'm thinking this. 
So here that vibrato I'm doing, that's showing me my 16 note speed. And you wanna think that before you get to the 16 note so you're at the right speed. So let's try and play it now. And 60 is our tempo. Number 80. One, two, ready, and go. Okay, so hopefully you got it. You were putting the staccatos and stuff. Let's try 80. So that's about the tempo of Lego it's gonna be. And it says, remember the stars guidelines, so signature, time, accidentals, rhythm, um, symbols, all that stuff you should be watching before you play a piece. Okay, so here we go. Up to speed. One, two, ready, and go. So hopefully you'll go over that more and more and all the time and as much as you can and stop the, the player, whatever you have, stop the video for a minute, redo some parts, see if you can get up to the speed and hopefully you'll get it. And then a reminder that you will have a test to 74 coming up. So practice that. And then on page 17, we're going to be doing a new rhythm that goes one, a two, a three, a four. And so that'll be a new rhythm that I'll be working with you next week. And in your paperwork, you'll see it's not going to be that difficult to do. Some of us are repetition now. So you're going to kind of like that. It's just a concept of dynamics again. And instead of just doing the regular stuff, we've got a cool little crossword on it. So that's what's going to happen there. And on musical concept number seven, you're going to be doing the melody versus harmony. So hopefully you know the difference. So you read this little part first, and then you get to do a cool little crossword puzzles. And then you're, we're gonna work on articulations, and then you're gonna work on intervals. Intervals is the distance between notes. And then there's one thing I wanna talk to you about, about key signature, make sure you understand that. And finally, a couple little pages on counting of the rhythm that we've already done. One and a two and a, or one e and two e and, or one e and a two e and a. So it's a lot of the same stuff and you're doing about one or two pages a day or it depends on how fast you are. You can do it in five minutes and some of you might take longer. Okay? And then make sure that you are marking time that you're working on in music in the calendar. I don't care if it's working on this even. That's practice time. Okay? So if you're doing your worksheets, you're practicing, mark it down. Make sure I see a picture of it. Take a photo. Make sure that I hear you play your test. Make sure you're caught up with the worksheets. Two, three, four, and now five. I'm not so concerned about one. I want two, three, and four. And again, reminder, you're getting a pass in this class, so you need to get it done. If you don't, you will not get credit, and that's gonna affect you for your next few years. So make sure that you get that done, and I miss you guys. I wish I could be there with you instead and helping you, but we have to deal with this, and so, um, I'm hoping to see you before the end of the year, definitely. And my dog's still chewing on the bone. And let's see if I can take it away. Let's try it. Ready? Set? Hey, Skyler. Can I have your cookie? Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Get it. It's all mushy now. Ew. Ew. Okay, you guys. You have a good week. And we will talk to you later. Bye.